So guys, and welcome back to Let's Play Persona 4 episode 63. On the last episode, we did a whole bunch of um story mode and uh, story driven stuff. So today we're gonna do some more properly. Oh man! Yeah, 10,000 yen from the working man to green job. Oh, yeah, I think Thursday, Friday, and Saturday are story driven days. So, yeah. Oh, hi, goodbye. Morning. I had so much fun last week. There was the cultural festival, and then we had the sleepovers, and I was really happy. I thought that I'd never be able to experience things like that anymore. Oh, did you see the weather report? It looks like the weather's going to start getting rough this weekend. We need to keep a close eye on the minute channel. It hasn't rained lately, so we haven't been able to see it. Might be in for a surprise the next time it's out. Let's be careful! Yeah! I mean, yeah! The town seems to think that the case is closed, but the real killer hasn't been cut yet. Ay, ay, ay. Oh, it's you. You're not busy today. Are you spending the day or what? Oh, hi, man. I see. Oh, what are you doing at this point? Um, there's something I want to talk to you about, so if you have some time to talk, tell me around the liquor store, so leave me there if you want to have some time. We should hang out for the night, okay? I'm just Because I never actually see this social before. I I've had and I'll probably do on the second one to play this It probably won't be until after I do Persona 3. Okay, here's a guy. You're the man in black is looking at you and crazy me. You know you need luminous reactions like part of the body of the destiny. That's where you obtain some of the email address. What can you can you learn from such steps? No. Actually, I'm gonna do not tell now then. Do not tell now then. Because I don't know if I would appear. Oh, Justin. Um, thanks for seeing me here. I thought you were asking me about that. Let us see what I can buy about something. You think that you need some sort of opportunity because we can become close. Now that you think about it, you do have hard that and then you black gave you. I still see that I don't understand what it's supposed to be. Excuse me, but could you please accompany me to your brief career? I'd like to hear more about what the Red Spider claimed you were given this time. It still takes time. I apologize, I want to attack some of this fire. What sort of person can do this? Mm 
sunglasses, mm. wearing those in town like this would only make one stick out. But okay, what we can take from the, that is that how to hide this fish from any cost. Man must also know you are. You wouldn't have entrusted the delivery to anyone who might be doing that. Uh, this is a small town. We could easily have looked at my eyes. I go to the trouble of giving this letter to you in the Is he involved with this case or another case altogether? If it's me who's after you, could be anyone. Oh, he discarded the man is more than most likely still here in the universe. Then, cannot drag you in the Please refrain from making such a judgment. Always handle things by myself, being a male or female, has nothing to do with it. Ah, you heard me now. I apologize. I'm sorry, I didn't talk to you, I didn't hear for other people's feelings. You'll speak to them, call me. I'll look into this card and report my findings to you, so don't worry about me. Really, I know that you have a lot on your shoulders. Naoto seems to be worried about you. You have a completely different impression on Naoto than when you first met. You feel a faint bond form between you and Naoto. Thou art I and I am thou. Thou has established a new bond. It brings me closer to the truth. Thou shalt be best with creating personas of the fortune. I have established the Naoto Surabhavi, social link with the fortune of time. Major the experience bonus when choosing for some of the fortune of time. Naoto's determination battle has been enhanced. Naoto can now take a mortal blow for you. Well, while we are here, why don't we chat it up? Oh, uh, yes, it was something I wanted to ask you. Shall we go we home now? Several aspects of the murders and went home. Oh, welcome home, Big Bro! I should have a total of one social now, I think. Okay. Yeah, I think our next murder case is gonna happen. Yeah, it's culture day, so you have the day after school. What should you do today? Um. Okay. Um. It's raining, so I can't really do anything. I guess we have book. Holy Kamiri Macho Man. Macho Macho Man. Can you make a better day? You can make it. Oh, I was going to say that 
the Western Union. Mm -hmm. Super! And what else is it's very nice, has me. Every person is just going there and all that. We're gonna have to watch the election. Sorry, got much more than me. In fact, I caught a cold a few days ago. You gotta watch how much you do what you do. I guess the problem is that much worse than she is. Seriously, cause you're going so good for her. I feel worse than you're going to be. My mustache is the second thing in here. I'm not a whole child in the dark, if I mention it, it is a boss. Did I hear someone say I should just shave it off? Won't do that, and for a good reason. You know that facial hair plays an important role for your body. I'm a child. I want facial hair, my bad, you know the other thing. How did you get that wrong? I'm going to move in you. Blah, 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 blah. Shut up. Um, it's the first one I believe it was. <laughs> Twelve minutes recorded already. Yay. Oh, you me Um, I didn't say that I should go inside the TV, but hmm, I guess that won't Dad's late. Did he forget his keys? The delivery man. He was asking where Mr. Takahashi's house is. Hello. Hi, Dad. Uh huh. All right. It's okay. I know it's your job. Uh huh. Uh huh. Big bros with it. So, okay. Bye. Bye. Dad says he's coming home tomorrow. But I'm not lonely. You're here with me. Now it goes smiling to your funny. It's, cold <laughs> it's cold today too. We want to bring out the kotatsu? Dad said we could pull it out if it gets too cold. That'll make it nice and warm. You pull out the kodatsu for out of the closet. What is the kodatsu? Okay, I'm turning it on. <laughs> what? It's not coming on. It looks like it's broken. That goes to spring. It's good. Let's get the best one. Huh? Can we can buy one? Pet you nest? Yay! <laughs> when you have some time, let's go to Jeanette. She's so cute. 
he promised to go to shop and that is so funny. It's raining tonight. Someday may appear on TV. It's a little figure. Some weird. It's a silhouette. Almost even blurrier than usual. You can't even tell what gender the person is. I watched the Midnight Channel last night, as you suggested. To think a master of deduction and evidence would strain her eyes over an urban legend like this. And yet, I definitely saw someone. Could any of you tell who it was? From a fuzzy picture like that? No way. How about the regular TV? Has anyone become famous around here lately? I can't think of any offhand. I suppose there was that politician who visited to quell the rumors about the fog. His statement was read on TV. But the chances of him being the one are slim. He returned immediately to the city after his inquiry. Hmm. Huh. What's the matter? Oh yeah, they stuck you with the midnight shift for falling asleep on the beds and housewares. I told you to use the TV in the electronics department, right? Did you remember to check it out? How rude! I made a promise with Nanako-chan, and I'm serious about living! From what I saw, wasn't the person on TV last night pretty small? I don't know. It was too blurry to make out any details, including how tall or short they were. It was probably just a dream or your imagination. Either way, though, did you sense anyone in that world? Nope. No one's come so far. Then we might have to wait one more night and see. Yeah, I guess so. Good thing it looks like the rain will keep up all night. Don't forget to check again later on. Um, the rest of the episode there will be no commentaries because there's a lot of cutscenes coming up, so yeah. Hey, I'm back. Welcome back. Dad, the Kotatsu's broken. Can me and Big Robo buy a new one? The Kotatsu? Oh, it's already that season, huh? Yeah, the weather has been odd lately. All right, I'll leave it up to you. Get whichever kind you want. Is that a letter? It's for you, but... There are no stamps or postmarks on it. There is only one sentence. If you don't stop this time, someone close will be put in and killed. Did he have sent another warning because another person appeared on the Minette channel? Hey, what the hell is this? Not often we get letters with no return address on them. So, I was right. 
be straight with me. You're involved in the case, aren't you? What are you up to? You decided to tell him the truth. So you're not going to be honest with me. I've been treating you like family. That's why I never questioned you on this. But I see that was a mistake. I should have intervened much earlier because I care for you. I will have the truth from you today. Dad? We'll continue this somewhere else. But I'm not letting you leave until I'm convinced. This is for your own good. Got that? It's all right. We're not fighting. We'll be right back. So don't wait up first to get to bed. Okay? Nanako scared. Later that night, I ran inside the police station. I'll hold on to this. He took away your cell. Now speak up. What have you gotten yourself into? What was that warning letter about? Why would you be sent something like that? Decided to explain everything to him. Persona? People going inside a TV? <sighs> I thought you'd finally tell me what's really going on here. Enough! That's enough! Guess half a year wasn't long enough for you to trust me like your old man. But I'd hoped you'd open up to me a little. It's a shame. Stay here for the night. Whoa, sorry. Dang. Go inside TVs and personas, huh? Well, you can't blame them. I mean, sure, I want to believe you. And I know Dojima-san brought you here and asked you those questions because he wants to believe you too. Plus, you know, you'll be safe here. He probably freaked out once he saw that letter and thought he had to protect you. Like what a father would do for a son. I think he cares for you. So yeah, don't take it so hard. You know, Dojima-san started looking into people involved with the first case again. Guess he wasn't satisfied with the way the case wrapped up after all. That's why he's even more sensitive about this and that. <laughs> I better shut up now before I get chewed out again. Alright, I'll be just outside. If you need anything, let me know. Meanwhile, at the Juniors Grocery Department. Why do I have to pitch in with stock duty? It's because I'm not working hard enough. There's no getting around it. And you're proud of that because... Why am I taking care of you anyways? I shouldn't have bought you this. Hang on to it, okay? It's your own cell. <laughs> I've entered the information age! We'd get worried if we couldn't reach you. It's just a cheap kids model, though. <laughs> Thank you! 
Yosuke! So to use it, press this button. Uh, scrap that. Watch, I'll show you how I use mine. He's not picking up. It's raining right now, so I was going to remind him about the Midnight Channel. Does he not hear it because he's out? I want to go to Nana-chan's place. I promise to play with her lots. We're not going. And go put those snacks back. It's already dinner time, so save them for your next visit. Oh, I get you. If he's out, that means Nanako-chan might be home alone. I feel bad to think of her staying home all alone. We could go take her some dinner. Please, 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 please. Okay, okay, I hear you. Jeez. So we can go? Sweet! You're so mature, Yosuke. My heart just skipped a beat because of your thoughtfulness. Hang on a sec, I'll try calling again. He's still not picking up. Oh, duh, I forgot to try his home line. The James is it? Hey, Nanako-chan? Um, is your brother home? What? He got taken to the police station? Stop blabbering and let me talk too! Good evening. This is your Teddy speaking. Let's get together and eat snacks again! Your letter? We'll go check up on your brother and dad. So don't worry, okay? Wait, was it another warning letter? Did he get a second one? And Dojima-san saw that, so he took him to the station? Teddy, give me the phone back. I need to call the others. Uh, meanwhile, the room in the police station. The time passes slowly. It's midnight. It's raining outside when you go here. Sunday may appear on the midnight channel. Someone appeared on. It's blurry, but you can see a small silhouette. It's a girl, most likely someone in grade school. This is Nanako. Can't see her clearly. But there's no way you would mistake Nanako. Who you see everything? Nanako is on the midnight channel. Your uncle Dojima took away your cell phone. There's no way to contact your friends right now. Meanwhile, elsewhere. Poor thing. I'll put you at ease soon. <clears throat> Meanwhile, on the road to Dojima's residence. I know what you're thinking, but Nanako-chan does fit the pattern. She wasn't seen, but she was heard. What? Do you remember the politician who visited a local school and made the news several times? In those interviews, he always quoted a particular student he spoke with. The child became well-known while remaining anonymous. That girl was Nanako-chan. 
A reporter who took interest in this released her photo and interview using her real name in today's evening paper. But even before that, this is a small rural town. Her identity must have been circulating for quite some time. Oh my god. I should have realized it much sooner. But I was hung up on the idea of people who were shown on TV. It didn't occur to me that this would qualify. Oh, what are we going to do? Not a good chance home alone right now, isn't she? I'm on my way there as we speak to check on her. Yosuke Senpai is heading to the police station. He said he called Kanji-kun too. They'll explain the situation there. Alright, I'll join them right away. And I'll let Yukiko and Risa John know. Yes, please do. Sometime later in the room in the police station. Hmm? What are you guys doing here? Hey, what do you think you're doing? I didn't say you could go in there. Nanako-chan's missing. What? What do you mean? Naoto's on the phone, calling from Nanako-chan. I mean, your house. Shiragane, you there? What the hell's going on? I'm at your house right now. The front door is open and there's no one inside. I'm afraid that Nanako-chan has been kidnapped by our serial killer. Surely you must have known, Dojima-san. The case isn't over yet. This is the KJ Customer Service Center. The number you have dialed is unavailable right now. The phone may be switched off or outside our coverage area. Nanako. Tajima-san. Is this true? Has Nanako really been... Why? Why Nanako? Um, it's probably because the media... What are you doing? Traffic Division Ota speaking. There's been a kidnapping. Get your man on it immediately. Start with checkpoints along the highway. Checkpoints? Um, could you explain the situation a little more? Quit griping and get to it! The victim's a seven-year-old girl. My daughter! Your daughter? Wait, what about the scene? What makes you think this is a kidnapping? That's... Look, this could be connected to that multiple murder case. Connected? <laughs> but we caught the killer. How long has she been missing? Have you received any notices or ransom letters? No, but... Damn it, there's no time for this right now. Um, all right. I'll try contacting each of the departments. Even if you tell them this is connected to the murders, we can't prove it. And everyone on the force thinks this case is over and done with. Where are you going? I'm going to go look for my daughter. If this is connected to that murder case, the top brass won't accept the facts until it's too late. I'm not going to wait for those clowns. But do you even have any ideas or leads on who took her? If they used a car, there's no way... Shut up! That's why I'm hurrying! No, Jimmy left by himself. <sighs> what am I going to do? Jima sans run off half-cocked. Adachi-san. We'll go look for her, too. So please, let him go! Huh? You know I can't. So what's going on? Whoa, hey! If I let all you guys in here, then I'm really in trouble. Besides, we don't even know if this thing's... Quit your bitching! Now ain't the time for that shit! What the hell are we sitting here for when this guy's family's in danger? 
You gonna own up if something happens? Kaji kun I know how you feel, but if you don't tell me what's going on, there's really nothing I can do. Ah, so you agree to release him once we explain the situation? Very well, then. No, that's not what I meant. In any case, if we run out blindly, we'll have no idea where to begin. Let's all take a moment to stop and sort out the situation. Perhaps this will help Adachi-san understand as well. There's no doubt in my mind that this is a kidnapping by the same culprit who was behind the others. Now, consider that the front door at Nanako-chan's house was open. I examined it and found no trace that entry had been forced. You mean Nanako-chan opened the door herself? Precisely. The culprit didn't sneak in. He came boldly up to the front door and pressed the doorbell. Like how it was for all of us. Um, for all of us? But the circumstances are different for her as compared to us. Remember what Nanako-chan said when we were at the hot springs? I always do what my dad tells me, like not opening the door for strangers. So is the killer someone Nanachan knows? Senpai, do you have any insight into this possibility? Hmm. I don't think we can limit ourselves to people Nanako-chan knows. I agree. Then let us change our perspective slightly. We know for certain that the culprit must be using a large screen TV. Huh? TV? What? Each victim was taken at a different scene, yet was thrown into a TV almost immediately after being kidnapped. I would go as far as to say that it took place in front of their houses. Therefore, the culprit must be taking a TV with him as he goes. You think he's using a car? Given the efficiency of the culprit's methods, I would assume a vehicle larger than a sedan. However, no unusual vehicles have been sighted. I'd expect someone to notice, since most of the victims vanished during the day. So it's someone Nanako-chan knows who has a car, but it's a car that can't be seen? I think we can rule out the possibility that no one happened to see the vehicle. Especially since it's happened so many times now. A car no one would notice. Is there such a thing? What would it be? That's right. Now I remember. A delivery came. It was a delivery truck! No one looks twice at a delivery truck, no matter where it's parked. And if it were a local company, it'd be the same delivery man every time, so he's not a stranger to Nanako-chan. She must have received packages from him during the times she was home alone, meaning we wouldn't know his face. Adachi-san, is there anyone who fits this profile? A profile formed by a bunch of kids talking it over? Uh, let's see. A delivery company, huh? I don't know. Take it from a detective. I think this is going to be a lot more difficult then. Hey! Maybe you're not too far off base. Dojima-san put this stuff together to reinvestigate the first case. The murder of that announcer. There's a delivery man mentioned right here. I better go tell Dojima-san. After resigning from his last job, he took up the family delivery business. Before that, he was a council secretary, Taro Namatame. The anchor singer's husband. All we know about him is his occupation, but I'd say that's enough of a lead to tell us where to go next. 
the addresses. It's not far from here. I give him the clue and he still finds an excuse to chew me out. Is he gonna be okay? The killer's not just a normal guy. Nana-chan! I thought you said- If there's been a break in the case, I'd better hurry to the scene. I'll just have to hope nothing happens here while I'm gone. I didn't see anything. Adachi-san. Let's go to Namatane's place. Dojima-san's probably on his way now. While we wait, the information we need will be lost regardless. Look! There really is a TV in there! Yes, large enough for persons of any size to fit through. I also recovered a diary from the driver's seat, most likely kept by Namatame himself. I learn the existence of a new world, thus I must save people. Save? The hell does he mean by that? <gasps> this... it's a list of the victim's home addresses. Mayumi Yamano, Saki Kanishi, Yukiko Amagi, Kanji Tatsumi, Risei Kujikawa. Even the victims who survived and were never released to the public are written here. I note that Mr. Moraoka's address is absent from the list. Wow, and that settles it. The last date is today's. I can't believe such a small child appeared on it. I must save this child no matter what. Is that about Nanako-chan? I managed to take her to safety. The police have been active lately. This will probably be the last time I write in this diary. I've done everything I can. It's clear now. He used the same trick on all the victims. He just ring the bell like he was making a normal delivery and throw the victim into the TV in his truck. Namatame is the killer! 
We need to go save Nanako-chan! Here, let's use this TV and... Uh... Well, wait a sec! We don't know where we'll enter through this one! What if we end up somewhere dangerous? It doesn't seem like it's going to be foggy tomorrow, so we should go in tomorrow, the same way as usual. But... If we fail, who's going to save Nanako-chan? Saving her will be our top priority from tomorrow forward. We'll leave Namatame's whereabouts to the police. Tochima-san. Later in the room at the hospital. Dejima opened his eyes. It looks like he regained consciousness. You guys. Are you alright? I almost look like hell right now. <laughs> She's no reason for living. If I lose her, I might as well be dead. Oh, she must be so scared right now. Waiting for someone to save her. Here I am. father am I? I can't even protect my own daughter. Don't you, my son? If anything happens to Nanako, I'll make Namatame pay. You can save Nanako, right? I trust you. Please, save her for me. You're the only ones I can turn to right now. Please. We will rescue Nanako-chan at any cost. It may take some time, but you must put your faith in us and wait for us to return with her. In this weird point, you can sense stronger determination than visual from everyone's expression. Nanako-chan's on the other side, right? Definitely. There's no mistake. The police should be pursuing Namatame, so let's focus on saving Nanako-chan. Yeah! We're the only ones who can! We'll save her no matter what! I often thought it might be impossible, but we finally cornered the culprit. We made it this far. We won't let him take Nanako-chan's life. Yeah. This is it. Let's go all out and get it done. I made a promise with Nanachan. I said that we'd play again and that everything would be okay. I promised her that. Regardless, we must do whatever we can with what we have now. This is something only we can accomplish. Come on, we can do this, guys! No problem! Yeah, we do this the same way as always. All we gotta do is find Nanako-chan before the next foggy day and get her out of there. Nothing to it. Let's keep calm, be careful, and get it done. Everyone's feelings are one. Rank up. The investigation team shall show link has reached level 9. Your power to create personas of the full arcana has grown. You'll rescue Nanako for sure before the next one day.
to do with all the fuss about the fog lately? Something's weird in here. I think all the commotion in town has been affecting this world, too. Well, we need to hurry now. Rise, can you tell which direction Nanako-chan is in? We need to save her. Let's go! It's like a storybook vision of heaven. Like heaven, huh? Deep down, Nanako-chan must really miss her. I'm sure she does. She's only a child. In her heart of hearts, Nanako seems to have missed her deceased mother. We have to do everything in our power to rescue her. Of course! We're gonna rescue Nanachan no matter what! We can find Namatame later and give him what's coming to him then. First, we need to rescue Nanako-chan. <sighs> gonna set up my party. Next episode, we're gonna go save Nanako Chan. Nano Nanako Chan. And hopefully, we'll find the killer. So, yeah, I hope you guys enjoyed this episode. Got a lot of cussing in it, but it happens. So, will we, will, will we be able to save Nanako Chan? Chan? And will we see Nanako in the TV world? Find out next time on Let's Play Persona 4. Have a good day!